Hey, Bruce Naylor, AKA Frugal Tech. How are you? Thanks for watching my video. I always appreciate when you like my videos and I always enjoy your comments down below. So here's the situation. I have a Panasonic Lumix uh, DMC FZ200 camera that I record these videos on. And I also use it to take, you know, pictures and go to, you know, birthdays and parties and all that sort of stuff with. And it's not going to last much longer. It's having some problems with the electronics and occasionally the whole thing just blacks out and comes back on. And I've been in the market for a new camera for a while and I have been seriously looking at the FZ1000 or some uh, is called in some countries the FZ1000. And I've been seriously looking at this bridge camera as a replacement for the Lumix FZ200. So the FZ1000 is the upgrade from the FZ200, but it shares quite a number of things from its big cousin, the GH4. The biggest of which, of course, is that it shoots in 4K video. Now, does that mean I'm going to be uploading 4K video to my channel? No. Um, but what I will do is record in 4K and then downsample to 1080p. The other thing is, though, that in 4K it only records at 30 frames a second. You can't do 60 FPS. Uh, it's kind of a trade-off, but uh, Anyhow, this is fresh off the FedEx truck, so I thought we'd go ahead and do an unboxing. First camera, I got it uh, from uh, Amazon. I think it was 740 bucks. So, it's, a, uh, it's actually a pretty nice camera for the money. So, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And you have to open it from the bottom, which I, well, I guess is a side. All right. All right. Yep, up to the bottom. So, we're going to unbox it. Hold open, and then we can go ahead. There we go, just like that. It's kind of different. And now we can go ahead and get into this camera right here and on top. Paperwork, yay! <sighs> A disc uh, for the uh, with uh, silky picks, and I don't know, does this have Mac on it? It does probably won't be using the software. One thing I want to do is see if there's been that this one has the firmware update. So we have the manuals in there. Open it up. There we go. You can kind of see. And we're going to go ahead and get the camera out itself. And I can tell you right off the bat, it is definitely a heavier camera than the SD. 200 and here we are right here and it's got a very nice solid feel to it but it's probably about two pounds somewhere in that range nice big grip on it and a big beautiful lens on this thing now the kind of some of the specs on this thing the zoom goes from 25 to 400 millimeter equivalent uh, however if you shoot in 4k Due to the cropping on the sensor, this has a full one inch CMOS sensor at 20 megapixels. So what happens when you do 4K video, you're not really getting that 25 millimeter at the widest angle. You're actually about 37 millimeter equivalent on the widest angle. Uh, I think there's 16 times optical zoom and it has uh, five different points or five axis. Yeah, five axis image stabilization in there, which is really nice. It also has an a manual control for the zoom or focus. Now this has got an electric motor in it, so it's not mechanical focus on there. It does use the same battery as the FZ200, which is pretty doggone nice. Another feature I do really like is a fully articulating LCD screen on there. I think it's like 925K pixels on there resolution. So I like that a whole lot. Uh, as far as image quality on these things, they're pretty doggone amazing. You have, of course, the drive dial over here where you can do, you know, single shot burst mode, that sort of thing. And it really, I think it can take like 50 pictures a second when it's wide open. And of course, here's your other dial on here where you can, you know, do all your various shooting modes. Quick uh, video record button. On the back here, you have uh, a control wheel back here. Or here's a control wheel up here. And then this is how you get to your menus. You set things like what white balance, your ISO, uh, and so forth on this. Now, I'm not a camera guy, but 
by all the reviews that I've seen, this camera should make a really excellent camera for my YouTube channel, but it is trade-offs. It's a bridge, so it's not a, it's not, you know, your basic compact point and shoot. It's not a DSLR. It falls in between. It's a fixed lens camera, but it is a Leica lens. It might be what they call Leica in name only. <laughs> it's still a really nice lens. The other downshot is it can record for about no more than 30 minutes. After that, you got to stop, restart the shot, uh, which the GH4 and even the FZ200 doesn't have to do that. You can do a continue. If, I mean, if you have two hours of video on your card, you can shoot two hours continuously. You can't on these. It's 29 and a half minutes or something like that. That's still not bad. That is still really not bad because that's about how long that I shoot. Feels good in the hand. 4K video, one inch CMOS sensor, 16 times optical zoom, 25 to 400 millimeter equivalent, so it's got a nice long zoom to it. Uses my old batteries, and they do take beautiful photos and beautiful video, 4K video. So it's got, I think this is a good compromise for me. Um, I just can't see spending a lot of money on a bunch of lenses and that kind of thing. And I want something really nice to take around, whether, like I said, we're, my wife and I were going to go to the Henry Ford Museum, so we'll be taking this, or mount it on my tripod and shoot my YouTube videos with it. I think after looking at everything that's out there, the Canon uh, 5, or the Canon TI 5, 5 Ti, I've looked at those, I've looked at a you know bunch of different cameras. In my opinion, this offers a nice balance to compromise but staying under a certain budget. And I just didn't want to spend over about $800 on the camera. And the kit lenses you get a lot, a lot on the, a lot of uh, DSLRs aren't that good. And this is really a wonderful lens. F.2 or F2.8 to F4.0. Now, the other thing is, as you zoom out on the lens, you do not stay at constant F2.8, uh, rather. It kind of narrows down to a 4.0. Like I said, I'm not a camera guy, but I've done enough research to know that this is going to make an excellent camera for my YouTube channel. So I want to get this set up, and uh, the last part of this video is going to be recorded with this right here. And I'm going to record in 1080p 60 FPS on this camera. So don't worry, I'll be right back, and you can see, you know, the difference if there is any between the two cameras. Be right back. I'm back, and the battery doesn't have much of a charge on it, so I'm going to have to be quick about this. I forgot to uh, mention what came in the rest of the box. Get a lens hood, a lens cover, battery charger with cord, and you also get a strap and a battery. And that's what you get with the FC-1000. And I think I'm really going to like this really well. It's a nice, nice camera. Tell me what you think. Does everything look pretty good? In the comments down below. Bruce Naylor, Frugal Deck. Talk to you later.